The Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO, is a spacecraft built by a European industrial consortium led by Matra Marconi Space now Astrium, that was launched on a Lockheed Martin Atlas II as launch vehicle on December 2, 1995 to study the Sun. SOHO has also discovered over 3,000 comets. It began normal operations in May 1996. It is a joint project of international cooperation between the European Space Agency ESA, and NASA. Originally planned as a two-year mission, SOHO continues to operate after over 20 years in space. The mission is extended until the end of 2020 with a likely extension until 2022. In addition to its scientific mission, it is the main source of near-real-time solar data for space weather prediction. Along with the GGS Wind, Advanced Composition Explorer ACE, and DSCOVR, SOHO is one of four spacecraft in the vicinity of the Earth-Sun L1 point, a point of gravitational balance located approximately 0.99 astronomical unit OS from the Sun and 0.01 astronomical units from the Earth. In addition to its scientific contributions, SOHO is distinguished by being the first three-axis stabilized spacecraft to use its reaction wheels as a kind of virtual gyroscope. The technique was adopted after an onboard emergency in 1998 that nearly resulted in the loss of the spacecraft. Topic: Scientific Objectives. The three main scientific objectives of SOHO are Investigation of the outer layer of the Sun, which consists of the chromosphere, transition region, and the corona. CDs, EIT, LOSCO, SUMER, SWAN, and UVCS are used for this solar atmosphere remote sensing. Making observations of solar wind and associated phenomena in the vicinity of L1. Celia's and CEPAC are used for in situ solar wind observations. Probing the interior structure of the Sun. Golf, MDI, and Virgo are used for helioseismology. Topic. Orbit The SOHO spacecraft is in a halo orbit around the Sun-Earth L1 point, the point between the Earth and the Sun where the balance of the larger Sun's gravity and the smaller Earth's gravity is equal to the centripetal force needed for an object to have the same orbital period in its orbit around the Sun as the Earth, with the result that the object will stay in that relative position. Although sometimes described as being at L1, the SOHO spacecraft is not exactly at L1 as this would make communication difficult due to radio interference generated by the Sun, and because this would not be a stable orbit. Rather it lies in the constantly moving plane which passes through L1 and is perpendicular to the line connecting the Sun and the Earth. It stays in this plane, tracing out an elliptical Lissajou orbit centered about L1. It orbits L1 once every six months, while L1 itself orbits the Sun every 12 months as it is coupled with the motion of the Earth. This keeps SOHO at a good position for communication with Earth at all times. Topic. Communication with Earth In normal operation the spacecraft transmits a continuous 200 kilobits per second data stream of photographs and other measurements via the NASA Deep Space Network of ground stations. SOHO's data about solar activity are used to predict coronal mass ejection CME arrival times at Earth, so electrical grids and satellites can be protected from their damaging effects. CMEs directed toward the Earth may produce geomagnetic storms, which in turn produce geomagnetically induced currents, in the most extreme cases creating blackouts, etc. In 2003 ESA reported the failure of the antenna Y-axis stepper motor, necessary for pointing the high-gain antenna and allowing the downlink of high-rate data. 
At the time, it was thought that the antenna anomaly might cause two to three week data blackouts every three months. However, ESA and NASA engineers managed to use SOHO's low-gain antennas together with the larger 34- and 70-meter DSN ground stations and judicious use of SOHO's Solid State Recorder SSR, to prevent total data loss, with only a slightly reduced data flow every three months. Topic. Near loss of SOHO The SOHO mission interruption sequence of events began on June 24, 1998, while the SOHO team was conducting a series of spacecraft gyroscope calibrations and maneuvers. Operations proceeded until 2316 Coordinated Universal Time when SOHO lost lock on the Sun, and entered an emergency attitude control mode called Emergency Sun Reacquisition ESR. The SOHO team attempted to recover the observatory, but SOHO entered the emergency mode again on June 25, 235 Coordinated Universal Time. Recovery efforts continued, but SOHO entered the emergency mode for the last time at 4.38 Coordinated Universal Time. All contact with SOHO was lost at 4.43 Coordinated Universal Time, and the mission interruption had begun. SOHO was spinning, losing electrical power, and no longer pointing at the Sun expert ESA personnel were immediately dispatched from Europe to the United States to direct operations. Days passed without contact from SOHO. On July 23, the Arecibo Observatory and Goldstone Solar System radar combined to locate SOHO with radar, and to determine its location and attitude. SOHO was close to its predicted position, oriented with its side versus the usual front optical surface reflector panel pointing toward the sun, and was rotating at 1 revolutions every 53 seconds. Once SOHO was located, plans for contacting SOHO were formed. On August 3 a carrier was detected from SOHO, the first signal since June 25. After days of charging the battery, a successful attempt was made to modulate the carrier and downlink telemetry on August 8. After instrument temperatures were downlinked on August 9, data analysis was performed, and planning for the SOHO recovery began in earnest. The recovery team began by allocating the limited electrical power. After this, SOHO's anomalous orientation in space was determined. Thawing the frozen hydrazine fuel tank using SOHO's thermal control heaters began on August 12. Thawing pipes and the thrusters was next, and SOHO was reoriented towards the Sun on September 16. After nearly a week of spacecraft bus recovery activities and an orbital correction maneuver, the SOHO spacecraft bus returned to normal mode on September 25 at 1952 Coordinated Universal Time. Recovery of the instruments began on October 5 with Sumer, and ended on October 24, 1998 with Celia's. Only one Euro remained operational after this recovery, and on December 21 that Euro failed. Attitude control was accomplished with manual thruster firings that consumed 7 kg of fuel weekly, while the ESA developed a new gyrolus operations mode that was successfully implemented on February 1, 1999. Topic. Instruments The SOHO payload module PLM, consists of 12 instruments, each capable of independent or coordinated observation of the Sun or parts of the Sun, and some spacecraft components. The instruments are Coronal Diagnostic Spectrometer CDs, which measures density, temperature and flows in the corona Charge Element and Isotope Analysis System Celias, which studies the ion composition of the solar wind. Comprehensive Suprathermal and Energetic Particle Analyzer Collaboration COSTEP, which studies the ion and electron composition of the solar wind. COSTEP and ERN are sometimes referred to together as the COSTEP ERN Particle Analyzer Collaboration CEPAC. 
Extreme Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope EIT, which studies the low coronal structure and activity. Energetic and Relativistic Nuclei and Electron Experiment ERN, which studies the ion and electron composition of the solar wind. See note above in COSTEP entry. Global Oscillations at Low Frequencies GOLF, which measures velocity variations of the whole solar disk to explore the core of the Sun. Large Angle and Spectrometric Coronagraph LOSCO, which studies the structure and evolution of the corona by creating an artificial solar eclipse. Michelson Doppler Imager MDI, which measures velocity and magnetic fields in the photosphere to learn about the convection zone which forms the outer layer of the interior of the Sun and about the magnetic fields which control the structure of the corona. The MDI is the biggest producer of data by far on SOHO. In fact, two of SOHO's virtual channels are named after MDI, VC2 MDIM, carries MDI magnetogram data, and VC3 MDIH, carries MDI helioseismology data. MDI has not been used for scientific observations since 2011, because it was superseded by the Solar Dynamics Observatory's helioseismic and magnetic imager. Solar Ultraviolet Measurement of Emitted Radiation SUMER, which measures plasma flows, temperature and density in the corona. Solar Wind Anisotropies SWAN, which uses telescopes sensitive to a characteristic wavelength of hydrogen to measure the solar wind mass flux, map the density of the heliosphere, and observe the large-scale structure of the solar wind streams. Ultraviolet Coronagraph Spectrometer UVCS, which measures density and temperature in the corona. Variability of solar irradiance and gravity oscillations Virgo, which measures oscillations and solar constant both of the whole solar disk and at low resolution, again exploring the core of the Sun. Topic. Public availability of images Observations from some of the instruments can be formatted as images, most of which are also readily available on the Internet for either public or research use see the official website. Others such as spectra and measurements of particles in the solar wind do not lend themselves so readily to this. These images range in wavelength or frequency from optical H -alpha to extreme ultraviolet UV. Images taken partly or exclusively with non-visible wavelengths are shown on the SOHO page and elsewhere in false color. Unlike many space-based and ground telescopes, there is no time formally allocated by the SOHO program for observing proposals on individual instruments. Interested parties can contact the instrument teams directly via email and the SOHO website to request time via that instrument team's internal processes, some of which are quite informal, provided that the ongoing reference observations are not disturbed. A formal process, the JOP program does exist for using multiple SOHO instruments collaboratively on a single observation. JOP proposals are reviewed at the Quarterly Science Working Team SWT, meetings, and JOP time is allocated at monthly meetings of the Science Planning Working Group. First results have been presented in Solar Physics, Volumes 170 and 175, 1997, edited by B. Fleck and Z. Sevestka. Topic. Comet discovery As a consequence of its observing the Sun, SOHO, specifically the LOSCO instrument, has inadvertently allowed the discovery of comets by blocking out the Sun's glare. Approximately one half of all known comets have been spotted by SOHO, discovered over the last 15 years by over 70 people representing 18 different countries searching through the publicly available SOHO images online. 
Michal Kuziak of the Polish Jagiellonian University Uniwersytet Jagielloński discovered Soho's 1999th and 2000th comets on the 26th of December 2010. Soho has discovered over 2,700 comets April 2014, with an average discovery rate of every 2.59 days. In September 2015, Soho discovered its 3,000th comet. Amateur astronomer Mike Oates' discovery of over 140 comets in the Soho data resulted in the minor planet 68,948 Mike Oates. Being named after him, this was used by lexicographer Erin McKean in her TED Talk as an example of how Internet users can contribute to collections. Soho 2198 is a sungrazing comet discovered by Indian amateur astronomer Salil Mully and Polish astronomer Zyman Lewo by analyzing data from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. Large angle and spectrometric coronagraph aboard SOHO is used to capture digital images of the Sun. One such sungrazing comet, SOHO 2198, was discovered using LOSCO images. This sungrazer belongs to a family called Kreutz sungrazers which usually disintegrate after discovery. With this discovery on 13 December 2011, Mully became the second Indian to discover a sungrazing comet. Topic. Instrument contributors The Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research contributed to Sumer, LOSCO and Celia's instruments. The Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory built the UVCS instrument. The Lockheed Martin Solar and Astrophysics Laboratory LMSAL built the MDI instrument in collaboration with the Solar Group at Stanford University. The Institut d'Astrophysique Spatiale is the principal investigator of GOLF and EIT, with a strong contribution to SUMER. A complete list of all the instruments, with links to their home institutions, is available at the SOHO website. Topic. See also Heliophysics Solar Dynamics Observatory SDO, launched 2010, still operational. Stereo Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory, launched 2006, still operational. Transition Region and Coronal Explorer Trace, launched 1998, decommissioned 2010. Deep Space Climate Observatory DSCOVR, launched 2015, orbiting in L1. High Resolution Coronal Imager, HI-C, launched 2012, Sub-Orbital Telescope.